Hey everyone, this is Super Galactic, and I'd like to welcome you out to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is a video that Jeffrey Darty did last night on his YouTube channel. He was talking about the Rapture Christian Disaster. That was the title of his video. And what he was basically saying was this whole rapture that the Christian think is the blessed hope is not really the blessed hope. It's nothing but a disaster for them. Not for us, but for them. Because like I said, in their mind, they think it's the blessed hope, but it's not. It's something very dark. In their mind, they don't think it's dark. Because like I said, they think it's the blessed hope. But that's where they're being tricked. That's where they're being set up. Because if you watch that horror movie, The Invasion of the Body Snatchers, that movie is basically giving you culture disclosure. Because what's going to end up happening is if people took the you know what, something's going to happen to their body, just like it says in the script. They shall be quickly changed. Something's going to happen to their body. And that's, that's just not all there is to it. There's more to it than that. You look at how Elon Musk is pushing this neural link, chipping people's brains. Then you look at how he's launching all these Starlink satellites into space around the Earth. What is he trying to do? i tell you what he's trying to do. He's trying to get people connected to the cloud. Why do you think it says in the script, in the Bible, that they shall see Jesus in the clouds? It's not talking about being in the clouds in a literal sense. It's talking about human beings being connected to the cloud. But are they really seeing the real Jesus? I don't think they are. I think it's a trick. I think it's an illusion. I think when they see Jesus in in the cloud, meaning they're connected to the cloud and seeing him, it's an illusion. It, it's their mind playing tricks on them. And the reason why their mind is playing tricks on them is because of this whole neural link. Like I said, they'll be connected to the cloud where they'll see this fake Jesus. And then when, when they see that, because of being connected to the cloud, they will have their bodies bodies quickly change because of them taking the you know what just like that horror movie the invasion of the body snatchers now for some of those that didn't take the you know what i ain't gonna lie they'll they'll be freaked out because they will have no clue what's taking place because nobody looks this kind of stuff up like I do like Jeffrey Darty does and the rest of the cousins. They don't think about stuff like this. So yes, it's going to freak them out. They ain't going to have a clue what the heck's going on. But this is what my spirit guides are telling me. This is what I really feel. That's the reason why I called Jeffrey Darty and was telling him that. Because I felt like my spirit guides wanted me to call in. And uh, tell Jeffrey and the cousin what I was truly feeling. 
because I believe that this rapture is something dark. That's what I'm on out of this video. The dark rapture. Because what they're doing is very dark. And I believe that the reptilians are involved in this. Because they're mainly the ones doing the soul harvesting. And that's basically what this is. It's a soul harvesting thing. And Christians actually believe this is the blessed hope. No, this is your soul being harvested. That's exactly what this is. This is not a blessed hope. That's where all you Christians are being tricked. But it's like Jeffrey Darley said, this needs to happen because of the stupidity that's going on all around us. People like that are supporting evil. They won't stand up to tyranny. And it's like David Ike said, you don't run from tyranny, you run to tyranny. You confront evil. You don't run from evil, you confront evil. People's got to stop living in fear and being afraid. We're going to have to confront this evil. But unfortunately, Christians are not going to do it. They're going to sit there and support it because they're scaredy cats. They won't confront evil. That's what's wrong with Candace Owens. People like David Ike was tweeting her and basically saying that Candace won't go far enough because David Ike's right. This goes much deeper than what Candace Owens is willing to, to look into and believe. But I know the reason why she refuses to look into this and go deeper. And that's because of her faith. That's exactly what it is. It's because of her faith. But she don't realize that all that indoctrination is going to be her downfall. Now, if she didn't take the you-know-what, now she's safe on that part. She, she'll be one of the ones that won't get harvested. But I'm going to tell you, when she sees this take place with her very eyes, it's going to freak her out. And maybe then, just maybe then, she'll start questioning. And what I'm believing really right? Or is this some kind of dark, sick game? Something to think about, Candace Owens. You better really be paying attention. Don't get so indoctrinated where you don't look in the right place. Pay attention. What's going on in this world is very dark. And people like Candace Owens just don't realize how dark it is. She thinks she knows, but she's not looking in the right place. And David Icke is trying to tell her that. People like Jeffrey Darty is trying to tell people that. People better pay attention. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. And please hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And y'all please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good one.